<laughs> Hello there. So, you must be the renowned traveler. Hey, don't forget about the equally renowned Paimon. <laughs> of course. Well, it just so happens that our tavern, Angel Share, is hosting a Bartender's Academy Week. I'm hoping the event might interest you. Basically, you'll have full access to all of our ingredients to mix cocktails or any other drink you please. As long as you refrain from being wasteful, you can enjoy unlimited refills for the drinks you create. Also, you'll be rewarded handsomely if the guests are happy with your drinks. What? There's even rewards? Where do we sign up? It's called an academy, but attendance is certainly not mandatory. And you don't have to make your decision right away. You're more than welcome to give it a try first. So, what do you think? Will you give the academy a try? Great, then please come on in. First, Charles will uh, walk you through some basic techniques. Hey, I know you two. So what can I get for you today? Bartenders? Oh, <laughs> so Luca roped you two in, did he? He's got quite a knack for that. You're certainly talented at handling difficult tasks. There's no doubt about that. But mixing cocktails is a whole different game. It's delicate work and requires a certain amount of finesse. Everything from the ratios of your ingredients to your mixing techniques could affect the final product. have a lot in common, you know. All right. I'll take your word for it. Oh, and one more thing. In a previous event, we had a student who arbitrarily mixed three kinds of hard liquor. Just one glass was enough to leave a customer passed out on the floor. So in light of that incident, we decided to no longer provide alcoholic ingredients to beginners. I hope you'll understand. Great. That just about covers all I have to say. You'll learn all the skills and techniques you need on the fly. You're a quick learner. This tastes pretty good. Hyman agrees. This is amazing! <laughs> that was just practice, though. On the job, customers often will have special requests for their drinks. Some may enjoy a stiffer drink, while others might prefer something more sour. Everyone has their own preferences. Adjusting the amounts of the ingredients is always the key. Hyman would like a caramel pinecone extra sweet in the biggest glass you have, please and thank you. Well, that's about all there is to it. But to become a truly exceptional bartender, in addition to mixing skills, you'll also need to master conversing with your customers. All right. In that case, you two can take this counter. 
If you have questions or need any help, just give me a holler. Well, well. This is a surprise. I didn't expect to see you two behind the counter today. In that case, I'd like a death afternoon. Leave it to Kaya to make things difficult right from the start. Come now. I just wanted to see how she'd react. I admit I didn't expect to see you here today, Sister Rosaria. With so many demanding customers that frequent the tavern, I only thought I'd help the Traveler gain some experience. There he goes with that smooth talk again. Don't get me wrong, I was only trying to be helpful. If anything, you should be thanking me. Now, how about we start with something simple, like a moonlit alley, for instance. Oh, and make it a large, please. I'll leave my drink up to you. Just... Make it a tea of some kind, and not too big. <laughs> Please, take your time. Waiting in anticipation is half the fun. No, the drink you made me is fine. It's just that I rarely ever drink tea. The taste always reminds me of... certain... things. Ah, I presume you're referring to the church? Yes. The church once held an event that I couldn't attend, but Sister Barbara still saved some tea and dessert for me. The dessert had already gone stale, so she whisked it away when I wasn't looking. But the tea tasted just like this drink you made me. Boy, you're in rare form today, Rosaria. Sounds to me like Mondstadt's just gained another black tea lover. <laughs> I'd prefer something a little stiffer. That depends. If I point out a few flaws, will you make me another one? <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'd never subject you to such treatment. Gosh, Kaya sure is a tough nut to crack. You never know it'll save. 
say next? How can you stand to drink with this guy, Rosaria? Hmm? I don't really care what's going through his mind as long as we only talk about drinks. Besides, Kayad's only interested in people or things that intrigue him, whether that's you, the innkeeper here, or anybody else. Hey, how could you divulge so much about your dear old drinking buddy, hmm? You think I'm saying too much? <laughs> Get over yourself. It's no big deal. Ugh, I'm constantly surrounded by uptight folks day to day. I prefer the easygoing atmosphere in the tavern. Oh, are we gossiping about people who take themselves too seriously now? Well, speaking of which, I know someone who could easily place in the top three most serious people in Mondstadt. As to their level of seriousness, well, let me put it this way. They probably wouldn't even flinch if I said that to their face. Are there really rankings for people like that? Of course. Just off the top of my head, there's a running list for the most consistent drinkers, hardest workers, worst cooks, or even biggest hoarders of dark secrets. Sounds to Paimon like Mondstatters have way too much time on their hands. Are there really that many people who don't need to work? Aw, but what about Paimon? Is there a category that Paimon can be ranked as high as her? Why, of course. How about... Ah, best bartenders. Really? That's great! Our names will be remembered together forever! <laughs> well, I must admit, the atmosphere you bring isn't half bad. You can say that again. Just looking at these two brings a smile to my face. Good bartenders create a nice atmosphere and get people in a good mood. You know, like a mascot. So I guess there's really no contest for the title of best bartenders. Huh? <laughs> Nothing. Thanks for your hospitality. Yeah, I should be going too. By the way, that black tea tasted great. I'll try to make some for myself in the future. If I can manage to get up early enough in the morning, that is. Until next time. Oh, it's Master Diluc. What brings you here? Do you have nothing to do today? <laughs> Me? Nothing to do? Don't count on it. I heard you two were working as bartenders, so I thought I'd drop by to see how you're coming along. Wow, you really do catch wind of things quickly. So, tell me, how do you like being a bartender? <sighs> yeah, it's still a little too early to tell. We haven't been at it for very long. Just tell me your initial feelings. Excited, confused, anything. How does it feel to be a bartender? I see. Hey, didn't you want to ask Paimon too? Paimon's initial feeling is, drinks taste good. <laughs> good. I'm happy for you. Now. Could you make me a Grey Valley Sunset, then? I'll leave the size up to you. Great. Take your time. Bad. Not bad at all. It's all about the ingredients. If they're fruit or fresh, 
and juicy, then the drink will naturally be sweet and tasty without adding anything extra. Sounds like I should thank the soil of Mondstadt. It just so happens that Grey Valley Sunset is the first drink I ever mixed. I was still quite young. My father laid out several ingredients and told me to experiment with them. No requirements and no instruction. In hindsight, he probably just wanted to test my creativity. In the end, I just made a glass of fruit punch, much like this one. Oh? But why fruit punch? My father was equally surprised. I didn't really put much thought into it. I just figured that it would taste sweet. Looking back on it, I was so young and naive. Oh? I never thought about it, I suppose. My father didn't say a word at the time. But... Thank you. By the way, there's something I'd like to give you. But I suppose it's better to wait until you have more experience with your bartender job. I have no doubt that you'll do very well. And Paimon will, uh, uh be rooting for you. <laughs> very well. Then I look forward to seeing your good work. See you around. Come back. 